Connection with the inspiration, a word for you. This is the Bishop's Connection to the Facebook family and friends. Oh, woo. This is the Bishop's Connection. Good day to my woo, my Facebook, and YouTube family. Welcome to Bishop's Connection. Today's lesson is entitled Combating Contrary Thoughts. This is part one of our teaching. Our text scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 through verse 6 of the modern English version. That's the MEV version. The word of the Lord reads, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is complete. You see, the born-again child of God is a new creation in Christ Jesus on the inside, but they still live in a flesh body. The body is the earth suit that houses the human spirit and allows it to move around freely on the earth. But though believers live in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh because greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. That is 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4. You see, our weapons are spiritual not natural or carnal weapons. Though we have this flesh world to deal with, our prayer lives build a bridge. Listen to this very carefully. Our prayer life builds a bridge from the spiritual world to the natural to change the things we can see in the natural world. Did you hear what I said? Though we have this flesh world to deal with, our prayer lives build a bridge from the spiritual world to the natural to change the things we can see in the natural world. In Jesus, God has given us the power through his sacrifice on Calvary's cross to enable us to reach into the spirit realm where the governing forces resides. You see, the greater one lives in us and gives us the ability, you see, he has given us his spirit, his weapons, his righteousness, and the power of his name, according to Mark chapter 16, verse 17, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 18. I'm sharing these supporting scriptures because this is our Bible study time together. I want you to go back and I want you to reference these scriptures and look at this broadcast again and study it because it will bless you tremendously. Now, it's important that we understand that we've been made his righteousness. Did you hear me? We have been made his righteousness. Now, I didn't say we earned our righteousness. We have been made his righteousness according to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 
and verse 30. Devils tremble and hell shakes at the very mention of the name of Jesus and the power of his redeeming blood. That's James chapter 2 and verse 19. Jesus expects born again believers who know their authority and the power of his love in them, listen, to cast out devils, raise the dead, heal the sick, move mountains out of their way, and uproot sycamine or mulberry trees of resistance, according to Matthew chapter 10 and verse 8, Mark chapter 11 and verse 23 through verse 24, Mark's gospel chapter 16, verse 16 through verse 18, Luke's gospel chapter 17 and verse 6, and then John chapter 14 and verse 12. All of heaven backs us as we pull down the devil's strongholds in Jesus's name, Mark's gospel, chapter 16 and verse 20. To maintain this God kind of faith in our lives, we must, and I say again, we must make a quality decision to keep the power source, God's word, before our eyes and in our hearts and in our, listen, in our mouths. We got to keep God's power source, which is his word, before our eyes, in our hearts, and in our mouths. We must be diligent to cast down imaginations, thoughts, reasonings, and ideas that are against God's covenant word that tells us who we are and what we can do in him. You see, your imagination, listen to this very carefully, your imagination is where faith expectancy begins to take form. Did you hear me? Your imagination is where faith expectancy begins to take form. That's where you begin to see what you are believing for and where it begins to grow and take shape from the seed of God's word planted where? In your hearts, in your hearts. But you must fight for it. Fight to keep it. Hold on to it. When a contrary thought or imagination comes to steal, kill, and destroy your dream of receiving what God's promise, immediately say it out loud. No, you evil imagination. I cast you down in Jesus' name. Replace that thought or image with what God's word says and declare out loud the promise of God on which you are standing. Begin to praise him and begin to thank him that is coming to pass. Praise him that is all, listen, that is already done in Jesus' name. Can you just take a few moments right now, just a few seconds, and just begin to praise him, whatever it is you've been asking him for and believing God for, begin to praise him right now like it's already done in the name, the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Call those things that be not as though they were. It is so. It is done in your life, 
in Jesus' name. I'm in agreement with you that it is done right now. Begin to praise and begin to magnify and glorify him right now in Jesus' name. Well, thank you for tuning in to the Bishop's Connection with your host, Bishop Dr. Henry R. Williams. Remember to do three things for me. I need you to like, comment, and share. Let me pronounce the blessing upon you before we dismiss from today's lesson. May the shalom of God be upon you and your family. Love, peace, and blessings. Remember to remain safe and know that Pastor Gwen and I love you immensely and are praying for you. Looking to see you next week, same place, same time. We're going into part two, combating contrary thoughts. Until then, may the rest of your week be prosperous and filled with the Lord's favor and blessings. See you next week. This is the Bishop's Connection with an inspirational word for you. This is the Bishop's Connection to the Facebook family and friends. Oh, this is the Bishop's Connection.